echocardiography is done from the chest wall in certain regions where the lung does not overlap the heart very much. You know that uh, air in the lungs will reflect sound or ultrasound so that uh, the views of the heart will not be good if lung is overlapping the heart. That is why we get poor echo window in emphysema. So the common views used in echocardiography are those where the lung overlap is minimum. For example, this is the parasternal long axis view. It goes from the base of the heart to the apex. And if you place it the other way around, this becomes the parasternal short axis view. These are the two commonly employed views initially. Then from the apex, you can have sweep from the apex to the base of the heart. And this can also be multiple views, four chamber view, two chamber view, and three chamber view. Those can be obtained from the apex. Next view is from the subcostal view. Subcostal view is uh, very useful in two situations. When there is emphysema and the heart is pushed down and uh, subcostal view will become much better compared to parasternal views where the lung will overlap the heart in emphysema. So in emphysema, one of the best views will be the subcostal. Another situation where subcostal view is best is in congenital heart disease, pediatric evaluations. Pediatric cardiologists often start from the subcostal view and they use an inverted view or what we adult cardiologists say as inverted view. They will say that is the true anatomical view. When you view from the apex, you know that uh, it is inverted. But uh, when you use inverted view, that becomes the normal pattern and they are more used to that inverted views. And the next view is suprasternal view, mainly for the iota, descending iota, arch of iota. And uh, suppose there is a ductus or coarctation that can be better imaged from the suprasternal view. Rarely other views can also be used. Right parasternal to see the right atrium or a dilated right ventricle. Then you can be, uh, a view can be taken from the liver region, especially in post-operative patients where the central part is covered by dressing, then you have a view from the infraaxillary region. It's very useful for evaluation of inferior vena cava. In postoperative patients, we know that uh, volume status assessment is very important. For that, if the